Hi diamond painting friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm almost to the 1000 subscriber mark. Um, so I thought when I got there, I would do a giveaway, but I'm not gonna put giveaway in the uh, description or hashtag or anything like that. So yesterday on my whip and chat, I mentioned that I would do an emoji and I said I would put it um, so look at my whip and chat title and you'll see the emoji I'm going to put. It's going to be like a little arrow with a, a little guy going like that. I didn't clarify in my whip and chat that it was, I was going to show you what the emoji was in the title of that whip and chat, if that makes sense. Sometimes I, I forget to leave a detail because I'm thinking it in my mind and I'm acting like you guys can read my mind. So if you haven't seen the whip and chat that posted on Friday, uh, just take a look at the title, even if you don't want to listen to it. And that the, the little guy that's in that title is going to be, um, it's going to let you know that when I do the giveaway, because I'll have that in the giveaway title. Did that make sense? <laughs> I probably did it. Basically that when you see that, that's going to be the giveaway video. When you see that little emoji in the title, I'll put five of them or something like that. So that's your, that's your uh, clue that that's the giveaway. So I still have like 25, 30 to go. So it'll probably be a few weeks from now, but I just kind of want to mention it now and then. So, so you'll know for all my subscribers. The reason why I don't want to put it in as a hashtag or write it out is because sometimes people, that's what they're searching for, just giveaways. And I wanted to go to someone who actually subscribed to my channel, um, has been here, or, you know, someone who's a subscriber that, not one that's just hunting for giveaways. So anyway, okay, back to this one. This is an unboxing for Francesca, Francesca Studio, Studio Works. And I've had this sitting for a few weeks and I haven't unboxed and I've been dying to see the drills. This is a canvas for Anna. It's a princess panel for my princess panel that I bought, the cross-stitch conversion that you buy on Etsy by Creatively Stitching or something like that. I will leave a link for that shop below, as well as this one. So you're not really gonna see it, and I I might pause, maybe I'll pause the video so I can at least get the picture in case you're not familiar with it. So let me go ahead and pause this video and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Wow, that was actually, um, I tried, I've tried coming back twice already. <laughs> The first time I shared my address and I didn't want to do the whole editing uh, out through uh, YouTube because it takes forever. So um, I thought instead of, it was, I was two minutes in, so it wasn't too bad. But um, then I started again and my husband called, so I needed to pick that up. So third time, third time's a charm, hopefully. Okay, so I was getting this to show you what cross stitch conversion I'm doing. So this is the Anna one. And so this is what, hopefully when I'm done with this, it'll look like this. And I had shown you all that. It says, thank you for choosing Francesca Studio Works. And it says about our diamond drills, which they are 100% resin. So that's pretty pretty awesome and of course they're square because a cross stitch so you don't want to use rounds with a cross stitch because your canvas is going to be um, white on the back and uh, since I this is my third time trying to get this um, video I already took it out of the bag which is real works out really good for all you you that don't like the crinkles so I had this pretty sticker on there and I'm gonna put it back in this dust cover and I need to cough I'm so sorry let me take a drink of water so maybe I won't So strange because you're fine until you get um, to a recording. So, um, and you also get like your inventory sheet, but it has, so the first one, let me just put my finger over it because there's my address. So it looks like this. Um, you, you put all of these in your cart. So it does take a little while. And then, so you have, these are all the colors. Look at all those colors. I forgot how many colors it was. I wonder if it says like how many. No, it doesn't. I don't remember. So let's go ahead and 
look at the canvas, even though there's not gonna be a, a stamping on it. It has a pretty bow and purple is her color. And she tied that really well. So it looks like I used that one. Let me see, I probably should just see if I could. I really don't want to cut this off, it's pretty. But it looks like she did a really good job <laughs> putting it on there. So unfortunately, I think I'm just going to cut it because it's like a, I don't want to stop the video again. And it would take a little while for me to get that off with my and trying to un oh here it goes it was just because of all those diamonds were there making it really tight fitting so there we go so here are some of them so we'll look at those in just a second i just want to make sure my address is way over there and so so let's see i know there's nothing to show you but still we want it to lie flat while it's in the background and we look at the diamonds so this is poured glue and so the way it worked for her store at least right now when I ordered was I let her know that I wanted to get a canvas from her as well since I was buying the diamonds from her and um, so she does like a quote and then she sends you the invoice and if you so it's two invoices that you end up getting because you order the diamonds on her website and then she'll get back to you on a quote for the sizing and everything and then let you know how much it is. So if you want the the um, canvas shipped with the diamonds, it does take a little bit longer, which I don't mind because I knew I wasn't going to start the cross stitch right away, but it saves you on shipping. Because I think for this to ship, it was like three something. Um, otherwise it probably would have been a little bit more if they were to ship separately. So let's move the diamonds out and here is her card here and it has a little um, QR code. I think you could, for that, you could even use that if you can get your phone to focus. And art, artistry, sorry, I'm not saying that right, craftsmanship beauty. But there's Francesca's, this is a very pretty business card. And yeah, you know me, I can't, I have hard times. When I was little, I couldn't say cinnamon. <laughs> Or perfume so um, it's very pretty it's scalloped and surged and has the plastic and right here it does if you could see that it does come over a little bit that about that far the glue sorry I just got a um I got a text message from my daughter-in-law I'm gonna have to text her right after I'm done so this is it and like I said when you're doing a cross stitch you, there's no stamping on here so the very top let me see if I could get that over here maybe I'll just fold it in half so the very top has her name and her logo and again it has the little QR code and that she's on all the social media. So I think she, um, some of these are hand bagged and then some of them look like they'd gone through the machine. So here's the palette. Very pretty. I love blue, so that's a good thing because there's a lot of blues in this one. Because it's going to look like this. So I guess there's a lot of blues in that. That sky and on her dress and there's like burgundies and so you know what I should have brought a tray so we could have looked at some of these ones I don't want to open the whole thing because she packed it really well and let me see let me see how this opens how cute it has her little um, logo on there let's see where this where does this begin and end trying to Let's see, I'm not sure how this is wrapped around, so we'll just try pulling some of it out. Is there a tape back here? Yeah. Okay, I got it now. It's a little baggy. So these are the ones that, that are just a little, little bit in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you from the back so you can see how pretty these drills are. These are really pretty. So 
through here. They are kind of a short video because I don't have anything to really show show. Let's see, where's the... I think what I'm going to do, I don't mind the little... I don't mind baggy sounds, but I know a lot of you don't, don't appreciate that. But here they are. Let me go ahead and just zoom in right there. I might just put these in sandwich bags when I put them back. Let's see. And then I'll move these over so you can see all these pretty colors. So there's like, let's see if that will focus. It says three, eight, four, seven. I guess it's too close to focus now. I'm trying to bring them in as close as I can so you can see how pretty they are. I want it to focus. But yeah, aren't those gorgeous? So, yeah, I guess that's all really I have to show since there's, there's no, um, you know, it's not like there's any ABs or all that fun stuff. But yeah, so that's from um, Francesca's Studio Works. Let me know if you have ordered any drills from her and if you plan to and keep an eye out as she's getting ready to sell some diamond paintings and if you watch me as lives on Sundays um, I'll, I'll leave a link to her channel below so you can check it check out the time I think for my time it's like one I don't always get to um, join her lives because it's Sunday and when I do go to church on Sunday because sometimes I watch it at home um, from 11 11 to 12 so I think she's at 12 my time um, I am always late, but if I actually go to church, because sometimes I don't go because um, I don't, my husband's not here and I just kind of stay home and watch it online. But if I do go, then I really don't get to watch her live because it starts at 12. And you know, my husband and I will usually go out for lunch after that and stuff like that. So I, I usually end up watching the replays. But for a while, I was able to get on. I was late, but I was there. And I was usually there just before or sometime before. Um, Francesca would send her a picture of one of her diamond paintings so and then if you watch the replay it's in there somewhere so yeah she has a really a lot of nice diamond paintings coming out and I look forward to purchasing one I don't know if I'll get to purchase one this year because it'll be coming out kind of when the holidays are coming for you know, I think around October November the latest I think is what she said um but you know things that happen so it could be I mean don't don't take those as definite dates but um yeah, it's just be during the holidays. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to snag one this year, but I will definitely get one next year. So yeah, so check her channel out. I mean, her um, her uh, website out. So, okie dokie, you guys, I guess that is it. And uh, remember to live a life filled with color cuts so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, I'm so close, bye. <laughs>